Well, it's all about Bob Meyer enjoying making pottery for a living and having the opportunity and the good fortune of having enough people interested in pottery in North Carolina in particular and in other places as well and that uh, I've been able to indulge my um, interest in pottery and, and be able to make a living at it at the same time which is like I say very fortunate and not everybody gets to do so I feel lucky when it comes to those kinds of issues. Purely by accident. I came here in 1973 with the intention of going back to college. I'd finished two years of college before I went in the military, and then when I got out, I came here because ASU had a major I was particularly interested in industrial arts and vocational education to teach, perhaps at the high school. teaching major you have to take at least one craft class. We've got an opening in this pottery class. I said, yeah, sure, sign me up. You know, if they can help me, it be, I can stick it out for a semester you know, and do something else. And, uh, and I got in there and it was just fascinating. I loved it. And uh, so I just, every semester after that, I'd take at least one class down there if I could manage it so that I could just mess around. What makes mine unique is over the years I've developed uh, and taken classes in design and developed a sense of design and where I feel like the work I'm making now, the functional work and then the more decorative kinds of things that I make are, uh, are well thought out and, uh, and uh, you know you have to develop some nice glazes with a nice color scheme which we're doing. And, uh, I feel like we have some very attractive glazes which people seem to like. It's a lot of work so you've got to love it. You know, that's what I, uh, it, this is hard work, uh, making pottery for a living. There's a lot of steps in the process that you have to learn, you know, how to glaze things, how to mix glaze, how to prepare clay. Um, you know, a, a whole long shopping list of activities that go from unloading the clay off the truck to selling the pots. And um, in some aspects of it, I like better than others. This is the fun. This, this is the fun part, and the decorating is fun. And, uh, and um, uh, but uh, it's hard to learn how to throw and, until you invest the time it takes to do it. The best part is the fact that I've been doing this for 34 years and I still enjoy getting up and coming to work every day. I'm not bored to death with it. So there's enough of the good stuff in it that I enjoy what I do. And that's, uh, you know, not everybody can say that, you know.